Hi guys, this is Stacy. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. For today's video, I thought we would make a little home decor project using vinyl. I have a 6x6 piece of white ceramic tile here, and you can pick these up pretty inexpensively at your local big box lumberyard type of stores. But I thought we'd make a little um, decor project using vinyl on our tile. I have my machine already turned on. My dial on the machine is set to vinyl. So to get started, you want to go to your Cricut Design Space webpage. You want to log in by clicking on that little green button in the upper left hand corner. Enter in your email and your password. And then once you're logged in, you're able to verify that by seeing your name here. Now you can do this for mom, you know, with Mother's Day not being uh, too far away, or for Father's Day, or a co-work, or a gift, or even your own home decor project. So you can completely customize this to whatever color you want and whatever saying you want. I'm going to be choosing a Make It Now project. So once I'm logged in, I can verify by seeing my name there. I'm going to stay on this page, and I'm going to kind of scroll down until I seen the one I liked earlier. It's actually for iron-on. Now you can see this one is for a cutting board. You know, you can most certainly make that and put it on a piece of tile. All right, I'm going to keep on scrolling down. There's this one here, You Are My Sunshine. This one is I Love You More on a pillow. That could easily go on a tile as well. I'm going to keep on scrolling until I see the one I seen earlier. That little lobster was, you know, if you're if your uh, person likes lobsters, you can do that. Even these, you know, the little dream big or the palm tree, the elephants here or the rhinos. The hearts here will look pretty. I'm going to choose this heart here. It's, it's actually for the love iron on jeans. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It is a free project. I'm going to hit customize. And we'll see what this looks like on our screen here. Alright, so it brings up two pairs of jeans. I'm going to go to my canvas properties and change the color of those just by going down here and choosing white and then hit update. It kind of makes them not as noticeable. I'm also going, if you see here my grid, my ruler on the very top and left is very, very small. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in by clicking this little zoom in box on the gray toolbar on your right hand side. Just get that to where I can at least see the numbers there. Alright, so now I'm going to close this out. So we have this loved one and then that one. So we have the positive and the negative. I'm actually going to delete this one by selecting it, hitting delete on my keyboard, and then keeping this one here. I'm going to go to my insert images, and I'm going to grab a square. And I'm going to use this square mainly as a template for the size of our tile. So I typed in square in the search box. I'm going to just grab a square, insert that square here, and then find the square, bring it up. Alright, there's my square. I'm going to go to my edit panel, having the square selected. And my tile is 6x6, six six, but I'm actually going to make my template here 5 and 3 quarter. This way I have a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm going to go to my size. For my width, I'm going to type in 5.75 and then hit enter on my keyboard. And I can see here the height did not change. The height is 5, well the height did change, but it's not the same as the width. So to fix that, you want to unlock the lock here. Click on that, you'll see the lock open. Then you can go in there and manually change the height to make it match your width. So type in 5.75 there. So now my square is a perfect 5.75 inch square. Alright, so close that out. I'm going to go to my layer panel, change that pink square to a white square to match my tile. Just gives me a better visual there. Close that out. Alright, now I'm going to take my word love and you can see it's going behind the tile. Just right click on it and go down and hit move to forward. And then we can see it there. I'm going to scoot this out of the way. Now I'm going to kind of resize this. And I'm going to resize it by using the little handles on the corner to where I think it's going to fit. And you can leave it wonky if you like that. I'm going to kind of make mine go straight. So I'm going to go to the very top here on my screen and click on the little box to show up the grid. And you'll see the grid appear. Take this off, move my square over there for a moment, and then use my grid here to make sure my word love is lined up. So, you, you know, once you have the word love selected, you'll see a little um, handle there. Click on that and that allows you to rotate it and then you can kind of see down here on your grid if your word love is straight. Okay, so that looks good to me. I'm going to put it back on my square. and move it over here so you guys can see it better to make sure it all fits in there nicely. And I think it does. Now with this design, you know, this could be for mom, it could be for anybody because it just says a word. Like for me personally with my mom anyway, if I were to give her a tile that said Happy Mother's Day on it, I'd want her to leave it out all year round. 
but it looked kind of funny at Christmas time with a Happy Mother's Day tile. So this one is kind of, you know, you can leave it out and it matches pretty much anybody's decor. And of course, you can make your vinyl colors match that person's decor as well. All right, but you can see with this one, we have an empty area here. You can, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out in green vinyl and then use a flower I made not too long ago and put it up here to kind of accent the word love. So I'm going to go ahead and go on my machine here. And I'll take you guys over to the machine and we're going to cut it out. So just give that a second to load there. I tell you, the weather here in Florida today is crazy bonkers. It was storming a little while ago. Now it's sunny. But we're supposed to be in for some really bad thunderstorms. All right, now you can see here it, stay, it goes on your mat wonky. That's fine. I'm actually just going to move it a little bit over here so it's not so close to the edge. I'm going to hit go on this screen. And then take you guys over to the Cricut and cut it out. Okay, we are at our Cricut. You can see the vinyl I'm using. It's just this glossy green color. I don't really care for the glossy vinyl, but that's all I have. And I'm actually using this tile for my quiet room, and this green actually matches that room. So I loaded it in there, and I went ahead and it go. It's going to cut it out. And like I said, I do have the dial over there on my machine set to vinyl. Yeah, so I'm not sure if we're going to get rain or thunderstorms. It was thundering and lightning earlier with no rain. Then it got real calm outside, and my dad always used to say, oh, the calm before the storm. Well, it definitely was calm out. And now it's like just spitting out there now, so we'll see. It's already uh, 5.30. mind the storms during the day. I actually like the rain and whatnot. At nighttime, I don't like them, you know, because then the power goes out and, or, you know, it, it may go out. We haven't lost power in quite a while, though. Not going to work for that. All right, this is done cutting. Let's go ahead and unload that. And it looks like it did a pretty good job. All right, guys, well, I'm going to take you guys to the table and we'll put this on our tile. Hi right, guys, we're back at the my craft desk here. We're going to go ahead and take this vinyl off of here. Set our mat aside. I'm actually going to trim this a little bit. This is, um, I don't want to waste all this good vinyl. So look where my design is. I'm just going to kind of cut around it so I can save that piece. I'm very frugal. I save every little scrub of vinyl. And get rid of some of this excess over here. Just make sure I'm not cutting my design apart. Alright, now you want to take this kind of tool again and you're just going to weed out what you don't want on your thing. So I'm going to lift it up in the corner and just start pulling away and your design will stay on, the, on your paper here. And then take these and you can kind of lift up where it's going to get stuck on you. Like that. The Cricut does a really nice job with the vinyl. I'm actually really impressed. All right, so there we have that. Then you want to go ahead and take this and get rid of all the inside center pieces of your letters. And then this one down here, right here, right there. And I think there's one, yep. Here. Just take a really good look at it. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to take my transfer tape over here. And this is the same I've used before. It's just that clear uh, tape I told you about before. I'm actually going to lay this down on my mat here, my tape. Lay my design down and kind of hold it there a little bit with my hand so it doesn't stick. Take some kind of card and then rub it over. I like this tape a lot because it's not that sticky. You can see through it, which is always a bonus. And um, I reuse it over and over and over, over and over. All right, so we have that. Now we have our tile. I did take a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol on a cotton ball to clean my tile off to make it, you know, um, make sure there's no, no, no uh, dust or dirt there. Take the backing off of this. Now just take this and kind of eyeball it 
where it's going to go. I'm going to line up my tie like with my grid. Take this. I want to kind of hold my bottom part and get this lined up to where I think it looks okay. Stick it down on my right hand side. Then take this and kind of just work it all the way up. And just give it a good rub. And then once you've got it on there pretty good, take your tape. And I like to hold my tape flat against the surface when I'm removing it. I find this way it, you don't get bubbles. If you're pulling it up, you're putting stress on the, on the vinyl and it creates air bubbles. So just kind of leave your vinyl, your tape flat and just do the wiggle motion. And it comes off really nicely like that. All right, now what I'm gonna put up here are the little flowers. I use these for that um, other make and project we did. The little, um, uh, the cherry blossom tree. I had these leftover flowers and they were really pretty. So I didn't wanna throw them away. And I think this will look pretty on here with that green. So I have two big ones. Yeah, definitely a big one. So to attach it, you know, you could use your hot glue. I'm actually going to be using this liquid glass. I think this is a really strong glue. So I'm going to put a good amount on the back. And plus, I'm not sure how well hot glue will stick to a tile. You know, when the weather changes, if it gets hot or cold. So just put a good amount. You can see I got a good amount there and just kind of position that where you want it and then just press it down and again just a few seconds for that glue to take hold and to adhere there so I'm just going to push it down and if you're going to squish it that's fine you can always come back up and once it sticks you can come back up and kind of re, um, reform your little flower okay so just give it a second and I kind of wiggle it down here and I can see okay it's not quite moving so now I kind of play around with it Lift these things back up to make it look more flowery. Okay, just like that. Isn't that pretty? How it's got the 3D flower on there. But anyway, there's, there you go, guys. That's how you would put tile on a um, or vinyl on a tile, and this would make a really great gift. A great gift. Like I said, the word love is so universal. It doesn't really matter who you who you give it to. It could be a, a coworker, a grandparent, your parents. Anybody will love this. Anyway, guys, that is all. Any questions at all, let me know. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.